people, LaCour here, Why Massage Body Work and Natural Fitness. And today, I want to talk to you guys about uh, recovery and nutrition. Okay, this, this is for some of my uh, b-boys out there, some of the um, parkour and some of the urban style jungle movement cats um, that are very into training, very into getting strong for, um, to battle and do things like that and compete. Uh, but a couple of things that they don't take into account is nutrition. Okay? Uh, so, first of all, exercise, you have to keep in mind, it's not all about work, 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 work. Okay? You need to rest your body. First of all, you need to make sure you're getting enough sleep. Okay? So, getting enough sleep, I know we tend to throw jams and we have things that go late and we end up staying up really late um, over and over and over time and time again. But we do have to find that time to rest and recover. After putting our bodies under extreme stress, um, you do need to find time to recover. Okay, so you need to recover. So sleep. Get, let your body rest. Even if you've had a, a hard training session, a really hard training session, if you can take a nap right after, um, after eating, you know, getting food in your body and that sort of thing, that's fantastic. Okay, so sleep. You want to make sure you're hydrating. Drinking plenty of water. Okay. Um, eight ounces uh, or eight glasses a day, you know, uh, here, I'm 140 pounds. For me, I drink about, um, close to about, if I'm working out a lot, I try to drink 87, 95 ounces of water a day. Um, which is challenging because you are, you will have, you need to just get a water bottle and just be sipping water all day. So you need that water in your body to help flush things out and help flush, um, lactic acid out of the muscles. Okay, so at, so sleep, water, and then also what you do after you train. After you train hard, you want to make sure you get protein in your body. Okay, protein sources. It doesn't have to only be from meat or anything or things like that, but things that are protein, you know, beans, um, black beans, pen, you know, pinto beans, um, you know, hummus uh, and these things like that. You, of course, you got your steak, your chicken. And your fish, you know, I tend to stay around the chicken and the fish area when I do have meat. Um, so make sure you get good protein in your body. You can even do a, a protein recovery shake right after. If you know you're not going to be able to eat right after, that's a great idea. Have that on hand, okay? You can also go to my website and you can see uh, we have some uh, uh, post-recovery shakes that, we, that I get with AvoCare. It's very good. Um, I use this one of those I use all the time when I work out uh, strenuous for recovery. So good. Make sure you get the protein in your body. Now, um, also, after you train, don't train hard. Don't come in and doing a bunch of power moves or some heavy lifting. And even you get bodybuilders and a lot of them do this too. They get their workout done and then they just leave the gym. Okay? People got this concept of... Uh, um, not stretching your body at all like because they found that some some stretching um affects your performance like when you do plastic stretching but my thing is it's it's when you stretch okay it's not don't do stretching at all it's when you when you stretch so if you walk into the gym and you start grabbing a pole and just stretching your chest out and doing things like that stretching your hamstrings um or i call it stretching the 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 hamstring ego everyone thinks that they should have this super extended length in their hamstrings for some reason because when you watch some people doing yoga you know they put their foot behind their head and they think that that's what's supposed to be there's a lot of instability in that position if you think about it so not always the best thing some of you guys are really flexible that's fine but make sure you have that strength in your hips too so uh warm your body up before you exercise so whether you're just doing something for 10 minutes you get a little bit of sweat if you're just doing some top rock if you're just dancing around if you're walking on the treadmill whatever you do get a little bit of perspiration going so your blood and and uh, things are starting to move and you start to soften that fascia before you work out so i'm not an adv advocate for stretching plastic before workout dynamic stretching before can be good um doing when you do it properly okay now stretching for structural issues like if you have um some really chronically tight pecs or something like that and you're getting ready to work out yes you do need to kind of get some of that open because you don't want it to over react you don't want it to over um be hypertonic because then it's going to affect your, your position your scapula whether it's your hips your hamstrings or whatever so there are some situations where if you understand the structure of the body and and how the muscles should work and what you're 
you know, your balanced uh, muscular system should be, then you know um, that stretching uh, um, for structural issues is good. Okay, so that's my take on, on the whole stretching bit. I was a gymnast, so yes, I understand stretching, to, uh, many different styles of stretching and did a lot of sports. So it's important to understand your body first and why you're stretching. That's the biggest thing, why you're stretching. Okay, before you train also, make sure you have some good complex carbs in your body. Okay, don't come into the gym um, without have eaten something. You know, you want to eat, you know, about an hour before where you got some good carbs in your body, healthy carbs, brown rice, quinoa, those sort of things. Um, and, you know, of course, whatever type of vegetables you like or if all is great. Okay, so you got the carbs also that come from vegetables. Um, leafy greens, you got your sweet potatoes and that sort of thing. Those are pre-workout type of uh, foods that I eat before um, I go and work out. So you can um, think about those things, uh, give that a try. You know, you want to have the carbohydrates in your body because that's the first uh, source of energy your body pulls from, okay? Your muscles need to be loaded with enough carbs if you're training hard in order to have the supplies to exercise at your optimum level. Now, if you find that you're getting injured, you get these aches and pains during your workouts and certain, you probably are deficient in the nutrients in your body um, if things are just aching. So make sure your nutrition level is up when you go in. And don't eat right before. You got to give yourself at least an hour to an hour and a half before you go and train because that's when that food source is actually it will be utilized. There are some situations when you're at battles and that sort of thing or you're at a competition, martial arts, whatever, where it's long, it's a lot of waiting and then you go hard and then you go wait and, you go, and those sort of things. And or if you're going for a long duration, you want to uh, make sure that you do have some of those simple carbs or that sort of thing that can uh, break down in your body and can be used right away. Not a candy bar and that sort of thing. It's sort of along those lines of a of sports drink, but something that has some nutritional value that your body's going to absorb really fast. Again, we do have some supplements uh, for triathletes and that sort of thing that I have used at um, uh, events where I'm dancing um, or doing capoeira, martial arts, where you can, you can use it um, after you've gone for, say, an hour, hour and a half, two hours. If you have something that's going on, an event that's that going on like that, then you take some of those where you get those carbs that your body can use. Because otherwise, you're just your body's just starting to get a catabolic state and starting to, you know, pull from the nutrients from within your muscle cartridges to uh, supply some energy for you. So I know this video is a little bit long, and this can get extensive, and people have all kinds of questions about diet and that sort of thing. Um, just some of the basics. That's all I'm giving you here. You know, eat lean, eat green. You know, eat more vegetables. Uh, eat more uh, micronutrient foods. Make sure you get your vitamins, your daily vitamins, your B6, your B12s, your, your omegas, um, your uh, vitamin D to help with your bones and your, um, your uh, skin and your tissues and those sort of things. Um, so keep that in mind. Um, and then your macronutrients, of course. You want to have your carbs, your proteins, and your fats. Okay, good fats. Okay, fried foods, not a good idea especially if you have um, heart issues, cholesterol issues. So stay away from those things. Um, so those are just a quick, few quick tips. Um, I probably will be coming back and I'll do a little bit of, um, you know, where I'll show you what I eat for that day um, and uh, see if you guys can um, utilize any of those um, uh, food sources and that sort of thing uh, from a little bit of a meal from a day. Um, so sorry for the long video. But uh, important issues, and I kept having a lot of people ask me about it um, when I'm at events and that sort of thing. So those are some things you can try if you want to get more specific. Hit me up, uh, comment uh, below, and make sure you like it and subscribe. And we will see you next time. LaCour here, Y Massage, Body Work and Natural Fitness, Poly Movement Program. Check us out. Peace. Blessings.